Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Wyoming Blessed with Tish. And like I told you all on Wednesday's video that this would be a fruit mukbang um, because we are going to lean towards doing healthier. As you can see, I struggle with my weight. I have my entire life. So we're going to do a little bit healthier. So today we have some kiwi, cashews, pistachios, because if y'all didn't know it, nuts, especially almonds, but I didn't have no almonds, and pistachios help break down bad fats. So we have some strawberries. We have one hard boiled egg over here just to add a little more protein to this and a whole bunch of grapes, which I will not eat all these grapes. I can promise you all that. And to drink, I have no clue. I have never had this ever, um, but it has five calories in this whole entire can. There's some ASMR for you. But it's this. So I thought, oh, we'll try it. It was kind of, I mean, a little pricey for a little can like this. I don't drink energy drinks, so I'm not as about to spend that kind of money on energy drinks. Um, and yes, my hair is down, I know. <laughs> but this one was $1.67 for this. I think it's sparkling, yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mmm, I like that. Let y'all see it. I really like that. There's a bunch of different flavors. I got it at our um, local Albertson store. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a strawberry. I love strawberries. Mm-hmm. And I love, love, love kiwi. Mm. Kiwi is so good. If y'all haven't tried kiwi, try it. Because it's good. I did wash the grapes, by the way. So if she's either wet, that's why. Supposed to be seedless. That was a little seed. Mhm. Mm well, whenever I had my son, over twelve years ago, um, shortly after I had him. I was diagnosed with fatty liver disease. I think it's because I took so much Tylenol when I was pregnant. I had headaches every day. And, um, you know, they were like, oh, we can do this, this, this to help it. And I was like, no, let me just lose weight. I lost 72 pounds in three months, which I know a lot of people will say, oh my god. I reversed the fatty liver disease, so I no longer have it. I still, they still keep an eye on my liver, just to make sure. But, I no longer had it. But I don't know if any of y'all are like me and struggled with weight loss. Especially when you're a foodie. Which I am. I like food. I don't, you know... I guess I don't eat 
mm -hmm. I, you could say like a lot of bigger people do. I don't sit down and gorge myself. I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. I would say my biggest downfall is sweets. I love sweets. Me and sweets. I have friends, but we're really not. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. The sun has decided to come out. So, hello to brightness. Look at that. It's a whole cashew. I love cashews. But, just like anything out there, you don't want to overeat them. I could sit down and eat like three kiwis, not a problem. It would be absolutely nothing to me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do the egg, but then I thought I better put a little more protein on the plate other than the nut. Y'all, I just got these grapes, and some of them are horrible. Mm. It's the curse of the bus. Every video. Every video, y'all. That bus comes. And backs up. Every video. I'm not sure. So I see water. So I'm not sure if this is like. It says it only contains 1% juice, which isn't necessarily a good thing. But it says it has antioxidants, one gram of sugar, no artificial sweeteners. So I'm not sure what this is exactly supposed to be because it doesn't say like sparkling water or anything like that so I'm not sure it's not bad but I seen it and I thought mm. I was gonna get some pineapple for the plate but because Wyoming decided to close down again. Some of the trucks haven't been able to get through. So our stores were running low. On produce and stuff. Which is probably why these grapes look so terrible. Um, so. No pineapple just didn't look good. So I was like, ah. Uh. We'll skip the pineapple. Pistachio, y'all. I love pistachios. Pistachio anything. When I lost all that weight, I ate a whole bunch of pistachios. To the point that I had calluses on my fingers. From cracking them open. So the, they obviously help with weight loss. Because I lost a lot of weight then. And I kept it off for a long time. A long time. Kiwi. 
I just love the flavor of kiwi. It's just so good. Eat some more strawberries. These are not very sweet. Even though I picked out the darker colored ones, because they're usually sweeter, they're not. But yeah. So, if you guys are trying to do weight loss, which I've done my whole life, I've struggled with my weight my whole entire life. Like, I don't remember a time that I haven't. Y'all got it. It's the only bad thing about pistachios. Are some of them bad boys are closed completely. I keep moving this. <laughs> or just one open. But anyways, like I was saying, if you're doing any kind of diet or trying to eat healthy or anything like that, add nuts to your diet. Just natural, natural. When I grabbed these, I thought they, the cashews, I thought they were, but they're salted and I don't like salted. They're too salty. Next time I'd probably wash the salt off. I mean, they still taste good. I mean, be real, they're cashews. But, I'll eat them because they're way too expensive not to. But I would prefer unsalted. We're going to do that, y'all. Yeah. I've done every diet in the world. Low carb. Which I lost a lot of weight on that one, too. Um, I mean, fasting, a lot of people do fasting. I naturally do that because I don't like breakfast. So I usually only eat between 11 and 6. So I naturally do that. I, like I said, I don't like breakfast. I hate breakfast. Those, I'm not a fan of. I mean, they're not horrible. But, it's not something that I would pick. Like I said, not horrible. I mean, I love me some deviled eggs. <laughs> I don't eat them, but on Thanksgiving and Christmas, I love deviled eggs. But, and Easter. I forgot about Easter. But, it's not something that I would go to. And breakfast is not something that I super duper care for. Yes, y'all, I add a little bit of salt to my eggs. And I don't like salt, so. But on hard boiled eggs, to me, they need it. <laughs> I mean, of course, the yolk's the best part, but. No, I do not have high cholesterol. The doctor was shocked how good my cholesterol was. What she called it? Out superb or something like that. I was like, yeah. I don't eat a lot of foods high in cholesterol. Bad cholesterol. So, those nuts are good. 
Love him. These grapes are a little better than I thought they would be. Fried sweetness. Anyways, y'all, this will be my lunch today. We're gonna eat this lost kiwi because that can't go to waste. I have two more. Hmm. This last little bit of egg. And then we're gonna call it good, y'all. Mm hmm. Because the key to healthy eating is to not overeat. And fruit's really high in sugar. I don't need it a whole lot. I'm not a big fruit fan. Pineapple, kiwi. That's about it. I love pineapple. Like, if you put pineapple in front of me, I'll eat a whole pineapple in a heartbeat. <laughs> Without any questions. But, anything else? No. Oh, look, the bus is back. One last night. Alright, y'all. Thanks for joining me for this healthier month thing. Um, we will continue to kind of lean towards the healthier side, of course. There will be some cheat days. Um, but we're going to try and keep those pretty limited as well. And I hope that y'all still continue to join me because, you know, we'll still be doing the seafood. Seafood is not bad for you. In moderation. And y'all see a whole Dungeness crab. I think, oh my god, she's eating milk. Y'all, by the time you get through the shells and everything, you're lucky if you're getting a fourth of a pound of crab. Let's be real. On any of them, really. I don't need a whole lot of king crab. Y'all see that? Because let's be real, it's too expensive. But, like, snow crab and Dungeness, by the time you get through all that... Like, the Dungeness, you get the whole crab, it's like a pound and a half is what you're paying for. Somewhere around there. By the time you take off the top, which is the top shell, top of the body, all the stuff that's in there, and then all the shells that are around the meat, you're lucky if you're getting a half a pound. Maybe even some of them a fourth of a pound. I mean, let's be real. You know, snow crab's the same way. So, anyways, we'll still be doing seafood once in a while. Eh, we going to say once in a while, but we'll still be doing seafood. But, I hope you all enjoy this, and we are still going to do a botana. Um, and mariscos, which if y'all don't know, it's seafood. A botana is just like a snack snack appetizer type plate usually has a six pack of beer or more in the middle but we won't be doing that um so yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video of course like always stay warm especially if you're in wyoming stay warm stay blessed and i'll see you in my next video on sunday y'all bye have a great weekend oh and if you didn't because i forgot again like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all.